Hey guys, this is Nedge, and welcome back to the Hades 2 series. So we're jumping in again at um, Tartarus here, getting ready for a Kronos fight. And before we head in, I just want to go over the boon list. So we have the Aspect of Momos, which um, makes our Omega moves repeat. And then we have Aphrodite's boon on our normal attack, which deals more damage to close foes. And then Hitch on... I don't even actually remember getting this. I'm not sure where this came from. Um, but that's Hera's boon. And then we have a Zeus effect there. Um, a couple more interesting ones are that we have our Hex here, which is... Where is just the normal Hex? Um, it's the Shadow Hex. Let's see. Yeah, I can't find it. There we go. So yeah, you turn into a Living Nightmare. And then just a few upgrades on that. We have a uh, Magic Restoration from Chaos. This one is from um, Apollo, actually, and it restores health when we take damage, so we're effectively taking less damage, which is a pretty good one. Um, and then just a couple other random ones spread throughout here. Uh, but yeah, that is just about the full setup. So things have been going well, um, just due to having a high magic limit and a very quick restoration of magic. We're able to use our hex a lot. And when you're in the living nightmare form, you don't take any damage, and so it's actually a lot easier. You can kind of like almost always stay in the form, at least during boss fights. And it really, you know, when you're impervious to damage, it's hard to kill you. So that's kind of been the strategy, at least the last two phases. Oh, here. I'm going to collect that. But yeah, this is also... Uh, my record date is June 6th. Two days ago, on the 4th, there was a another patch to the game. Um, I know that there were changes to the Kronos fight that made it easier. I, In the, my honest opinion, I haven't gotten to do the Kronos fight enough times yet to really determine if it was too hard or not. Um, at least in my opinion, if it was too difficult. But based off the couple times, I can see how it could be too difficult. And then another change, well, one, we have Keepsake Art. Now you'll notice our tooth down here has art, which is really cool to see that, like, artwork finally being implemented into the game. I think the, um, the aspects of weapons also got updates to the art, at least in some places. Oh, here we go. Oh, dang, I was hoping to dodge it. We actually have an ability to break shields, so we don't need to worry about shields too much. Um, but yeah, having some artwork, and then also the the boss here, that's like the coin bag. I'm not sure what the official name is, but he got an update too, to make his like beam attack not kill you instantly. It like doesn't track as well, and I hope we encounter him just so I can see what the difference is, because that was an attack that was completely destroying me, and so I really want to see what the change was about. But yeah, in general, I feel like a lot of enemies kind of got nerfs. Um, maybe I'm just having a good run, but I feel like I'm kind of seeing enemies die quicker. And just attacks seem to be missing me more. It could also just be that you improve out of the game as you play it, and I'm just feeling my improvement take place. But I do think there was some level of change. Alright, and we recover magic so quick that I can kind of spam my attacks. Alright, here we go. One right there could be good. But yeah, for our primary attack, we actually have Aphrodite's Boon making it more effective at close range. And then I have a Daedalus Hammer. Oh gosh, I hate those traps. I have a Daedalus Hammer making it more effective at farther ranges, and so... Regardless of where an enemy is, I'm kind of getting a bonus and attacking them. Yes. We do risk straying from the shortest route, especially for Hades. Here, maybe I can give him his gift now. Yes, I've missed this the last time. Oh, I'm so glad I actually have a nectar. Oh. No, uh, no keepsake from him. Maybe you have to defeat Kronos first. I'm sorry. Alright. 
Hmm. You know... The life tax only makes me nervous because if we run out before Kronos, we don't really get the benefit. Let's actually go for Last Grasp. More damage for each spent use of Death Defiance. Oh, I should have pet Cerberus. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're actually gonna do that. Oh, that's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Yeah, let's just... We have to take out these guys first. The, um, the pillars in the corner. Those have to be first. It's really interesting how they took, like, one of the weaker enemies from the first game with the Wretch here. Because he's a enemy from the first Hades game. And turns him into, like, a final region enemy instead. Alright, let's do that, and... So with my Aspect, it actually repeats. The only difficulty is when enemies move out of it, you don't really get the benefit of it repeating. Alright, here, let's just go and break the shields. It's my, um, my Dash Strike has a Daedalus Hammer that breaks shields. Alright. Yeah, more important to dodge than get that damage in. Alright, and there we go. I should use the Hex more in these rooms. I skip on it for some reason. Hmm. Oh, can I dig up here? No, that's where I killed one of the pylon enemies. Alright, and then hopefully... Because we're doing... Why are we max health? Oh. We gotta do this. I have no clue why my health is maxed. Well. I made sure to lower it again. Alright, and let's just drop some specials in here. Alright, I'm just gonna go in with it. I think these are probably the last enemies based off... Yep. Yeah, based off the room difficulty, you can usually tell. Alright, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that. And, yeah, I have no clue where I got the first Hera boon from. I haven't encountered Hera once. Alright, there we go. And then what we can do is... Well, he's actually stunlocked now. Some of the breaking shield abilities are so broken in the sense that you can break, like, a mini boss's shield in one hit. And yeah, with the stunlock there. Yeah, that was ridiculously easy. Do I have any gifts? Oh, I guess Hades just didn't take it. Alright. And then, yeah, I'm trying to collect all of the, um, the keepsakes from the gods now. Those are ones I kind of skipped over, and I wanted to get them all. Ooh, is this a duo boon? Give up all of your Zeus boons. For each raise level for all of your hair boons. Hmm. But I only have one, so... Oh, you know what? This one... That's actually perfect, because there won't be enough encounters for them to lose it. So, nice! The, sp the prime area. That's great. 180% bonus damage. Alright, we have a lot of gold, so... Oh! I bought an item from a Well of Charon that gave me 50% health restoration. That is why my health was restored. That makes sense. Yeah, but there we go. It's such a great ability, being able to knock shields that quickly. And it's only using a dash sprint. It's not even, like, a very difficult criteria to meet. Alright. And yeah, he's standing in the special. There we go.
Alright, and I'm just gonna spam them here. Alright, there we go. And yeah, let's go for the, uh, the hex here. In all honesty, the damage reduction offered from this hex might make it the best hex in the game. I still don't think I've really even gotten to use every single hex, but... Getting to dodge all damage while dealing like over a thousand damage is very good. Yeah, we'll go for the palms here. That's an easy choice. Here. I think I can actually, yeah, hit through it. Alright, and let's go for this one as well. Alright, and one more there. Perfect. Here. Yeah, taking down these when you're able is always a good strategy, just because you don't want them to come back later and be something that kind of gets in your way. Alright. And then we should have the hex ready for the next wave of enemies here. Oh, why was I taking damage mid-transition? It actually doesn't really matter. We should be able to recover fully at the uh, the next shop here either way. Oh, I was thinking that would be it. Yeah, let's do one there. Alright. There we go. So yeah, I guess you do have to be kind of careful with your hex activation, which I hadn't really noticed in the past, but if you can take damage while activating, that does kind of change a lot of the criteria around it. Oh, I should finish him off. Do the other coin bag. Here, I'm just gonna not walk all the way over there. Alright, and then does this actually deal more damage if I'm closer? It does. Okay. So that's good to know before the boss. Be as close as you can. Alright, yeah, the primary is actually the best. It's only a 30% increase, but that's still really good. And I just want to see how far we can go this way. I mean, we're doing a really good job staying alive. Oh, thank gosh, it wasn't that instead of a shop. Okay. I was like, I would much rather have the shop. Alright, using more is actually helpful. Just because we get access to our hex quicker. And then... I, I'm i gonna skip on the card. Just because I want to be Kronos more than I want the card. Let's see. Yeah, the Scorch is actually better than Hera right now. Okay. One foe is always weak. See, so I wonder if that applies... Wow, that's that's a really good one. I've never seen that. Um, but I wonder if that applies to like a boss as well. So we do have all uses of Death Defiance going in here as well. Um, so it's two from our cards plus one from our uh, Keepsake is the Death Defiance one. The Lucky or two, I think it's called. Alright, so we're going to go for the Sailors first. So yeah, I'm curious to see just how big the difference is. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, that can get just about all of them. Alright, then what I'm going to do is actually... Oh! See, so we do take damage during the activation sometimes. Okay, so that's a timed attack. So it comes later, the actual attack. 
Very on brand. Those little flags remind me of the um the final boss in Dead Cells. All right, what is this? Oh, just reinforcements. The final boss in Dead Cells also kind of does like a flag to summon enemies. There we go. Well, try to line it up here. So the actual aspect on our weapon that makes our cast repeats doesn't seem very helpful for this boss. Um, just because it's kind of more helpful when the boss is stationary, which he does not do. Gosh, that's a very difficult one to dodge. Alright. And yeah, I'm just going to drop a couple more. And go in with the Hex again. Okay, so we're doing just about equal right now. I know there's a second phase, and unfortunately I don't know the moveset during the second phase. But just with our current health versus his, we are where we want to be. Alright, one more. Yeah, thanks very much to our hex as well. Alright, here, let's try to do some... Gosh. He moves a little quicker than I'd like. Yeah, the biggest thing to me is that a lot of these moves... I mean, maybe it's just because I don't know how to dodge them. But they do feel kind of unavoidable. Oh, gosh. I do not like that these guys are summoned. Or, yeah. Or I guess when, just when I'm kind of charging, it can become difficult to dodge. Yeah. Not crazy about that either. Why aren't we actually damaging him? All right, there we go, and then there, no damage that time, thank gosh. All right, and that should knock him. Okay, so when we go into the phase two here, there's a clock, and we have to run to the number that's lit up, because I got one shot last time. All right, run over here. Can I hit him from here? What is this? Alright. Okay, I think he has a lot lower health this time. Yeah, a lot lower health. And then I think we still have one use of Death Defiled as well. Um, I don't know where we want to be for that one. Alright, and then, yeah, I just want to get another one prepped. We dealt almost half his health just with that one use, so... Another use here could be very good. Um, okay, that's not really damaging him. Alright. That's... a very annoying... oh! Alright, here, I think this is our last one now. So, we can't die again. Oh, okay, so we do have to get over here. Thank gosh, we made it. And then... Okay, oh, that is such a shame. So much closer that time. Well, I think what I'll try to do is run again with a very similar build and see if we can beat him that time. But yeah, overall, that is very, very close. Maybe in part due to changes in how he works, but... Either way, I'm very happy with how that went. So, yeah. 
Um, if you have made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And if you're interested in more coverage on Hades 2, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, as I will be covering a lot more on this game. But until next time, this has been Nedge, and thanks for watching.